What's going on, everybody? See here. Welcome back to some more Planet Crafter. We're back. We're doing the things. We're doing the stuff. Last episode, we got tier two uh, food things. We've got some trees growing outside, as you can see. Oh my gosh, they are spreading everywhere. And um, yeah, we have more things to do. So hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. So, uh, first thing I actually want to do here is, you know what? Let's drop our inventory real fast because we're gonna go check out something. I've been trying to read through the comments because like I said, we're getting towards the end of the content of the game for now. But um, I wanted to, uh, I was trying to read through some comments because I think there's some hidden things that I've kind of missed out on. And I wanna make sure that, you know what, let's just drop everything in here. It's fine, it's fine. And then let's take a thing of food and think of water with us and let's go explore. So, uh, darn it, I ate that, mm, delicious. So the first thing I wanna pop over and do is I believe there is another uh, underground base near the uranium cave. So we're gonna head over to the uranium cave. If you don't know where that's at, basically it's kind of next to the ring over here-ish. So yeah, we're gonna go check that out. And then we're gonna see what's there. And then we're also going to, uh, we're probably trying to get a few more tree seeds going. And then let's see, there was something else I wanted to do as well, but I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. I don't know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> We will figure it out. So hopefully you guys enjoy if you like subscribe all the things. Okay. So we're gonna head over here and we're gonna check out this underground base that we may or may not know what's in there. I don't know yet. Alright, so here's our uranium base. Or our uranium mine deal. I was told in the comments that there is an underground base over here somewhere. Oh, there's a hole here. Uh, don't, oh my gosh, there is one. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Can I take that? Oh, that'd be super nice if I could have took that. Deconstruct locker swords. What's in it? Uh, okay, so we've got this stuff. Everything looks standard. Nothing amazing. Take that out. All right, let's read this. It's been six months uh, since the crash and I'm barely surviving my main goals to build a rocket and leave this place forever. This planet is cursed. I can feel it. I'll have to go back to the crash site. I think there was a secret room in the control bay, a deconstructible wall somewhere near the main screens, but it's been a while. I can hardly remember. This is the place that we need to go to. Um. Okay, so I need to go back to the crash site. I think there was a secret room in the control base near the main screens. Okay, all right. So we've got to do that. All right, let's get out of here because, um. oh, oxygen. Probably should have grabbed an oxygen while I was here. You know what? I think... Okay, there's two titanium. One silicon. I need three iron. Two. And three. Okay, we're gonna be good. Uh, so, actually... So, since we just survived that... Uh, I'm actually thinking about starting a hardcore series. I don't normally do hardcore games um, because I don't like when you die, you lose everything. However, I think this game could be fun uh, to do that with. If you're interested in that, leave a comment down below. Let me know. And honestly, I think the series would last as long as we died because depending on how far we got, like, so if I got to this point and then died and lost my save, uh, yeah, I would not be doing a hardcore series again for sure <laughs> because like, no, thank you. But if I die in like the first episode, like obviously we're going to continue. So leave a, leave a comment. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. Um, I'm super curious. So, all right, let's head out of here now. So it said the main crash. I don't know which main crash it is. I don't, I don't think it's, I feel like it's that second, the big, big one. Um, so we're going to pop over there because I feel like that's the main crash. You know what I'm saying? We'll go over there and we'll see what happens and we'll see if we can't find this deconstructible wall. But that's exactly what I was looking for uh, because again, comments, wonderful comments told me about that. Okay, so we're back here. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get rid of some stuff out of our inventory real fast. Um, seeds. Uh, got a lot of seeds here. We got a lot of flowers too. We're getting to the point where we have like so many flowers, it's insane. Uh oh, and then we did get uh we got some fertilizer, some fertilizer. What? Wait. What is fertilizer tier two? Oh, it's probably used for the tree spreaders. I bet you it's used for tree spreaders. Okay. Uh let's leave that in there. Actually, you know what? Let's leave the sulfur in there too, because I'm gonna need the sulfur over here anyways. Uh, leave the waters in here because I need those over here anyways. <laughs> we always need that stuff. And then let's go ahead and let's grab that in there. 
and then we should be good on oh man we we're good on like ooh, resources are getting full here Okay, we should be good on everything else. So we're gonna head over to that big crash over there. And we're gonna see if we can't figure this out. I thought we already found that secret wall, but I'm not 100% sure. We must not have, unless I did find it and then somebody commented and didn't realize that I found it. I don't know, let's go find out. All right, let's get in here. A deconstructible wall behind the main screens. Okay, so that makes me think... Where were those screens at? They were upstairs, weren't they? I think we had to go up here. And then through here. Yeah, okay, so here's the main screens. Oh my gosh. There was a secret wall. Uh, let's see. Oh! Tree seed Atira. We got some pulsar cords, some osmium. Fertilizer, some seeds. Uh, seeds, fertilizer. Okay, looks good. Grab all that. And then was there anything on these shelves? No. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> Little secret room action, huh? Okay. Well, hey, we found it super quick. Nice. Um, well, we have a free tree seed. Uh, tree seed Etera. Let's go plant that bad boy. Everything else here we've already gotten, so I'm not super worried about it. Why does Etera... Why does that sound familiar? I feel like that's the name of a base or something in another spacey sci-fi game. Etera. Hmm. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you know what I'm thinking of. I don't know what it is. Itera. Hmm. Or is that the name of this planet? Maybe? Maybe not. And we're safe at home. All right. Let's go plant this tree seed. I mean, you can't argue with the free tree seed, you know? You know what I'm saying? Uh, wow. Those do expand out pretty far. Um, I also did see the comments of the tier three tree spreader puts trees in like a giant area so to maybe not put that right next to the base because in order to get back to our base we're going to be going through trees like crazy so uh yeah we'll try not to throw any of them too close to the base because <laughs> i don't want to have to be wading through a forest to get home you know what i'm saying usually you clear cut a forest to build a house so you don't build a forest or grow a forest around you you know i'm actually really glad we found all that fertilizer because that fertilizer is what we needed um for our, our tree seeds quite a bit of so because i think right uh oh no it was mutagen that i needed a bunch of but we needed fertilizer to build them was it fertilizer to build the thing yeah it was okay and bioplastic so yeah that's super handy super nice all right so let's see we got flowers we got rods we got all much stuff to put away here so i'm standing here looking at my base and i was contemplating something I don't think my base is big enough. I think we're I think we're still a little too small. I think there's we have so many resources and so many things that we could do here. I think we need to step it up a notch. I think we need to begin Project Mega Base. Because I mean, even if Let's say that these these tiers aren't implemented yet, right? It, it's still progressing. So, but we're at 2.2.9% point, point point or 0.29%. We're not even at 1% yet. Which means we're going to have to increase everything by a lot. So that means I'm going to need more power. I'm going to need more heat. I'm going to need more of everything. Like everything's just going to have, we're going to have to have more of everything. I think we need to build the base that's capable of making more of everything. I think it's time. I think it's time we begin Project Megabase. And we're going to start right now. Because forget the hardcore series for now. I think our base can be a lot bigger. I, I, think, I don't think we're doing the game justice here. Nope, not at all. So I want to build these rooms right here. Because I like these rooms. And I think these big, huge open rooms like this are like super awesome. Uh, but... They, they don't look great at night, but they look good during the day. During the day, they're fine. So we're going to use these rooms because they're a lot cleaner, a lot more open. 
And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the stuff. I'm going to start building some of them. Um, I don't have a design in mind yet. I was kind of looking around and I think what we're going to do. Let me actually pop up here. This would be a good vantage point for you. So this area right here is a really clean, flat, open area. I think we need to utilize all of it. I think our base is going to expand like this. I think we're going to follow this area right here. This is going to be a huge base. And then on top of the base, because we're going to have two levels, we're going to have the main level on the bottom. And then the secondary level is going to be for our biodomes and things like that. And then we're going to have an area for heaters, generators, things like that. And actually, honestly, those nuclear generators, we could probably go ahead and get rid of. Well, I don't think we need to get rid of them. I think we could just move them. So I think it's time. I think it's time that we start doing this. Uh, we're going to have to move all these flower things and all this stuff. And, oh my gosh, this is going to be an adventure. Actually, we probably should go ahead and remove all these flower things for now. And then we probably should go ahead and work on building everything we need. Oh my gosh, this is going to be an undertaking right here. So, you know what? Let's do this. Let's start at this corner here. Let me grab this. Deconstruct that. Let me grab these things out of here. Deconstruct that. And let's clean this area up here. And we're going to start by placing our first room over here, I think. Because that's going to make it huge. And actually, you know what? Bef hold on. Before we do any of that, let's connect two of these rooms. And let's see how they connect. Because they might not even connect right. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we got this area cleared out. Let's see how these two rooms connect. Because they might not connect right. Or they might connect perfectly and it makes just a giant, huge open room. So let's see. What do we need for those rooms? We need three iron, three titanium, two super alloy. Super easy. Like we've got all kinds of that stuff. Uh, so there's three iron. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and grab six, nine. There's three, six, nine. Okay, so let's see if we can get a few of these rooms connected and kind of see what they look like here. Oh, we need super alloy too. What am I even doing? All right, so there's that one. Let's go see how, let's see how it connects on this side here. There's that one. You know, we could always just build off of the base that we have. We might actually just do that. We might just build off of what we have and then remove things around. Okay, so this connects here. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. It just has this uh these these big these big pillars right here. Which I think is honestly better than having these pillars like everywhere. Okay, perfect. So that'll be the move. That's that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and do that. And then I actually want to redo all of these little rooms right here into those big rooms as well. So um, storage is going to get destroyed here because I'm basically just going to be building storage containers just to fill stuff to move back and forth, things like that. But let's go ahead and let's look. Because, I mean, that gives us quite a bit. And let's see. We've got room for probably one, two, three, four. We could probably do two more this way. Because, I mean, one more would probably come out to, like, right here. And then another one would probably come out to, like, right here. So that'd be probably about perfect. So if we do two more this way. And then if we do maybe two more this way as well. Let's go get those and let's see how that looks. Okay, so we're inside. Oh my gosh, this space is going to look huge. <laughs> it's going to look gigantic. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, that was two more going this way. And as you see, the rocks kind of like start right here. There's almost like this perfect cutout for a flat base right here. So that works good there. I like that. Let's go ahead and extend it to that way and kind of see what that looks like. And then we need to go lengthwise. And then we need to just fill in the entire thing. Um, I'm not going to have enough resources to do this right now. Like we have a lot of resources, but we don't have that many resources. You know what I'm saying? Actually, one. No, we'll do two. Because I do kind of want to hang it over the water a little bit. And I want to have like a dock basically out here that goes down to the water so we can like leave wherever we want. Oh my gosh. Wait, can I just I can see through these. I can see through that one. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's go inside and look at like how lengthy this thing actually looks. It looks huge. Oh my gosh. This is gigantic. This is huge. 
This is this is gonna be very big. <laughs> very, very big. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I, ex I expanded the width by another one. <laughs> it, is this too much? <laughs> like, I feel like this might be a little too much here. Um, hold on. I don't, okay. So I like it, but at the same time, like, I also don't want to make just a giant rectangle. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe we need to, maybe I need to play in this a little bit better. Maybe I need to give it shape and like, you know, make it look a little, because it's just going to be a giant rectangle. Like it's literally just gonna be a giant rectangle like that. Maybe I need to have like wings, you know? Like have like four rooms, like serve one purpose and another four rooms serve another purpose. You know what I mean? And then have like a main structure kind of thing. Maybe that's what I kind of need to go with here. Okay, so I kind of did a little bit of design here. I was trying to figure out like how I wanted things, what I wanted where. So um, I, I wanted like a central hallway, right? Like a main hallway to get back and forth. And I actually wanted to make it out of these small rooms because these rooms have lights in them. So even when it's dark, um, there is some light here, so I didn't want to make this out of these rooms because like I said at nighttime They don't they're not super light. So This is kind of what I came up with I came up with two things here. We have one Which is basically they're built right off this main hallway and we can have windows kind of looking in seeing that or We have it to where there's a room in between and then you have to like walk in here and, and then to this room So I'm thinking I'm leaning towards this I kind of like the uh, kind of like being able to see through these windows like that and then basically copying on this side so that we have this main hallway right here. We can run in here, grab what we need to do. We can go over here, grab what we need to do. And then I was actually thinking about having a hallway possibly run along the entire perimeter, the outside of this, um, and then utilize like some of these curved rooms and things like that. So that way we could have, um, you know, like some nice curved edges and things like that. I don't know. We'll see. But I think I like this a little bit better, being able to see through the windows and then having just, you know, a walkway right here. I mean, we could even throw like, uh, we could even throw like a door in right here if we really wanted to, but I don't think I want to mess with doors all the time, you know? So this is kind of what I think we're going to be doing. Um, and then the outside wise, it's actually not quite as big as I was thinking because basically it's a single hallway and then two double rooms. So it's not taking up this whole outside, which is actually probably a good thing. We could probably go ahead and throw some plant life around the outside like that. Um, and then the back here, we could end up uh, building a bigger dock area. And then we do also have to make an area for all of our heaters and all of our nuclear generators and all the outside things. So um, this should give us hopefully enough room to do all that. And then what I'm also thinking is that I'm gonna mirror this on this side so I'm going to deconstruct a bunch of this stuff, see how far over I can mirror this because like of this hill right here. Um, and then in the middle have like a courtyard kind of area, hopefully where it goes down to this area and we could have, you know, maybe our water collectors and some plants, things like that decorative stuff, if you will. So have like a little courtyard area like right here. Um, I even played with the idea of having... Like I said, if I did the exterior hallway, we could have like a courtyard on this side, courtyard on this side, and like a hallway, uh, you know, cutting it in half. Um, I think. So I think that's kind of what I like. Um, I think this this room right here is not going to be here, but I think this looks pretty good. It doesn't make it feel quite as big, though. I mean, we could always extend out another double room. We could do a two by three double room possibly and then two by three double room on this side too it also might not feel as big because this is blocked off you can't see in there so um i'm gonna move this side in and we'll see what that looks like okay so there we go so that's kind of what it's gonna look like it's gonna look like this on both sides and then we'll have like a door going into this area this area looks good looks good um and then for our main central area because like i said these are probably gonna be for different wings for different things Huh, different wings for different things makes uh kind of rhymes um i think the central area for like this door we're gonna go ahead and make this uh let's see the doors here so the only problem with the door is <laughs> i almost need a double door because we're gonna do it on a uh, a two foundation center i guess or a two block center uh or two cube however you want to call it so we're gonna have one two and then one two uh this will be the main hallway and i'm gonna put a two by two room here here there and there um, so that this will be like our main work area. We'll have like, you know, most of our crafting machines and stuff like that in here um, And then we also need to have a storage room and our storage room needs to be close by uh, What are we having is this super alloy event? No, that looks like a regular meteor shower um, But we need to have a storage room nearby because like we're always storing the things um, actually 
if we do that room if we do a two by two room we could always throw these around the edges of it too actually i like that so um that's probably what we'll go ahead and do it's gonna be kind of interesting getting everything figured out though <laughs> let me tell you that right out because just trying to uh Okay, so like I need to delete that, but then I need to throw a living compartment in to connect this. Just trying to like kind of move things from point A to point B. Also, I am running super low on materials already. So this is going to be uh, a fantastic time to make sure that my drills are going. All right, so now we can actually get to here. Okay. Oh, all right. So I'm liking this so far. So I was playing with another room and I'm thinking that what we're going to have to do this hill is actually, I mean, it actually starts here pretty early and you can see like it kind of starts going up right here. So I think we're going to have to kind of like scooch the base over a little bit, which this way, which is fine because we could always use this side to continue using it for um, our nuclear reactors and things like that, because like these frames sit inside this hill structure pretty decently, whereas like the rooms kind of don't. So I put another room right here, kind of looking at spacing wise. And I think we're going to be good to have one here, one here, and then a space, and then another two and another two. So basically, we're going to have, you know, two by two, two by two is going to go right here, and then another two by two and another two by two. And then that should work. And then we're going to copy the same basic structure up here. And then on these, we're going to end up throwing probably tier two, tier two. Um, we'll throw the tier one over the middle area and then tier two biodome tier two biodome So I'll give us four tier two biodomes. Is that gonna be big enough? Is that is that enough to be considered mega base? Hmm We could always fill in too. We could always instead of just doing them on the corners We could always have a row of them right next to each other and then we could always throw like um, You know some kind of like foundation grid or something like that like right here kind of making it look like it's supported um yeah that'll probably work we'll see we'll get to we'll cross that bridge when we get to it uh but we're gonna have a lot of base reconstruction going on here so that's actually gonna end this episode thank you so much for coming out hope you guys enjoyed if you did like subscribe all the fun things leave a comment down below let me know what you think of the base of mega build and um yeah next episode is gonna be a lot of base building we're gonna be doing a lot of deconstructing reconstructing things like that so um if that is something that you're interested in and tickles your fancy make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell icon to be notified of future stuff and uh yeah thank you again for coming out also if you want to get social i do have all the other social links down below twitter discord all that fun stuff and if you uh do join the discord you want to show some pictures of your base you can throw those in the uh our pics chat thing and i'd love to see what you guys come up with who knows i might even take some design cues from it uh but yeah thanks again for coming out have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time